inside a studio where they are doing a live program what's inside the studio I'm a of what? To, to check out um, 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 our guests uh, the process they destroyed a lot of things inside them so what i'm saying is i don't know what this country is talking about i know the commission of police is a man i trust so much that he uses we don't and make this thing right because everything that has been damaged in that office they will pay for it they will pay for it. I'm a suspect of who? So, who is the person? Who is the person? So, as you're watching for me, who is looking for me? Share it. Share it. Do you want you part in the house? I don't know you. Where's your ID card? Share it. Who is your ID card? God bless you. Where's your ID card? Bring your ID card. Okay. Who wrote a petition against me? Who wrote a petition against me? You can come and give us information. Who wrote a petition against me? Who wrote a petition against me? I'm a police who wrote a petition against me? Please, Who wrote a petition against me? Phone. I need to call the BPR. Yes. You can. Go ahead. Who wrote a petition against me? Who wrote a petition against me? Don't worry. When okay. You get there, you see the petition. I no problem. I'm not moving an inch. Okay. You feel you can hide? Who, I'm not hiding. It will, if, I, if I'm hiding, will I come to the radio? I'll show you the message. This, this nonsense that is sending to me. A, to who? A policeman. You're to who? To Why will you track me? Did I do anything to you? I'm live. How can a Nigeria police be tracking somebody? Did I do anything to you? Wait. Do I do anything to you? Listen, the program is wrong. Because you will go and tell the rubbish. Do, am I doing anything to you? I'm live on radio. Am I doing anything to you? Am I do anything to you? Look at policemen. We are policemen. The Nigeria police have come here to come to inside. to. Inside. So we cannot arrest the police. Where the commissioner of police now? Where the commissioner of police? Did I do anybody to anybody? Who did I arrest? Who petition against me? Who petition against me? Who petition against me? Who petition against me? Okay. Let him continue. Who petition against me? See me. See my name. Okay. Don't worry. Who let the door open in the first place? So what is what is keeping us? These guys are downstairs waiting. Thomas from that place. I, I'm not Who petitioned against me? You just come and arrest me like that. Thomas, it's difficult for you. After this, I'll I'll drag you out. Okay. I was live on my program They just came into a radio. I'm having a, a live program. They just came into a radio session. They want to arrest me. They are attacking me. What did I do? Who petitioned me? I'm not owing anybody. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't do anything to anybody. How will the police enter to a radio station and they want to arrest me? I'm calling on the Nigerian police. How will the police enter a radio station and they want to arrest me? What did I do? Who wrote a petition against me? What did I do? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, they just told us now that the person went to ABN to televise that we are kidnappers. So we followed up immediately. We saw him here televising, uh, uh, giving them more information. Yeah. I am here for. So, my name is Jesse Bernard. The Nigeria police is here to harass me. I am here for a program that the ABN TV invited me, and the flyer is online. Anybody can go and confirm the flyer. The flyer is online. Anybody can go and confirm the flyer. Office, Mata Day. ABN, ABN office. Yes, sir. Near Day. Anybody can come online and confirm. Yes. I was invited by ABN yes. TV to come and talk on yes. youth yes. program. Yes. I am not owing anybody. Yes. I am not yes. killing anybody. I don't have issue with anybody. Yes. Why would Nigeria police come to intimidate me? Yes. Who wrote yes. petition against me? Go and listen to it. 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 Nigeria police are here. The ones who intimidate me. The Nigeria police are here. The Nigeria police are here. The BSTV. I call it the Nigeria police. They are here. They want to arrest me. What did I do? Nigeria police are here. Who does the person against me? Who does the person against me? If you arrest me, 
Come on, let's from that. Mr. Black Police, what did I do? Who wrote the patrol against me? I cannot move an inch from here. No one. He said, Who wrote the patrol against you? What did I do? Did I do to this anybody? What did I do? What did I do? No, we don't have You can invite me to your police for questioning, cannot arrest me. Invite me for questioning, cannot arrest me. The Nigerian police want to intimidate me in a radio station where I did nothing, where I be they can only invite me for questioning. I don't do anybody to anything. You're a criminal. What did I do? Who did I who did I say anything for? Who did I if you know you are if you are Tell me the police station we are going to tell me the police station. The major point is you come out to do it. No, you want to come and kidnap you want to arrest me? Are you lying? You said you want to come for prayer. Police they are lying. Police are lying. This man called me this morning. You cannot arrest me. You cannot arrest me. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. 2024 is just getting crazier and crazier. Now, today's true crime story is coming to you from Nigeria in West Africa. And you saw the five minute footage. I wanted you to see everything so that we have a discourse on this. So you can start typing in the comment section what your opinion is based on what you saw and also based off of what I'll be putting across. So the whole footage is having a backstory actually. And this is the backstory. What you watched is the altercation sort of that happened when policemen in Nigeria went to a TV station to arrest a guest whilst the show was live on air. Now this happened in a state in Nigeria called the Abia State. So the station in question is called ABN TV station and it happened on the 16th of January in 2024. So this is barely about just three days ago. But this is where the whole thing gets tricky. The guest in question here is a man by name Udensi Donald. So let's just call him Donald. Now Donald was on this live program titled Youth Rendezvous. All right. So at this point, it is expected that things should just go smooth. Maybe the police are there to arrest him based off of their legal process in an investigation, which is rightly so. But my first question is, are they expected to wait for the show to end because he's on a live program? Or they can arrest him as is and take him away, irrespective of whether the show is live or not. Now, if they are expected to wait for the live show to end, then, in this case, they were insisting they want to arrest him either ways, irrespective of the show being live. And in that particular case, is this gentleman in question, Mr. Donald, entitled to resist the arrest? I don't know much about Nigeria's law, but this is my first question. Now, my second question is, if police officers come to arrest you, and I'm no expert, but this is my layman thinking, you can correct me if I'm wrong, especially if you are watching from Nigeria in particular, because there could be jurisdictional differences. But my second question is, if a policeman is coming to arrest you, or maybe even invite you, like the police officer was saying at a point in time in the altercation, is he not expected to show you a form of identification first? clearly showing he is a policeman from the initial onset of the conversation and go on to show you an arrest warrant if it's an arrest or maybe another form of document if it's not an arrest but maybe an invitation. If that is the case, why was all that not happening? And this guy who is to be arrested had to actually demand this from the police. You can hear him in the video asking that, he wants to see their ID. He wants to see their ID. And then this police officer then pulls out an ID and says, this is my ID. And then he asks, he goes on to ask the police officer what the petition was against him, which has warranted that the police should get to him in that studio. So he was asking the police 
to provide the name of the person who has brought a petition against him, Mr. Donald, to the police. And I wasn't impressed with the response the police gave. I don't know if that is how it works there. Because the police tells him that when you get to the police station with us, you know who wrote the petition. And at that point, I was like, wait a minute. Am I not supposed to know my accuser? Or maybe I am getting it wrong. But like I said, if you are familiar with these things, especially as pertains in the Nigeria justice or security jurisdiction, please educate me if I'm getting it wrong. But I find it a bit odd that the police just can't there and then show a warrant or a petition legally issued and tell it to this guy that based on so so and so and so and so and so this person has that petitioned or lodged a complaint against you based on so so and so and so and based on a b c d etc we have been issued with this warrant or petition to either arrest you or invite you to the police station i think that would have gone a long way to prevent all these encounters that pursued between them because at a point i was wondering how this was going to end because the gentleman in question mr donald was also really adamant that he wasn't going to go with them and all this was still being broadcast live and i tip my hats off also to the presenter and the anchor and the the staff of that station because it seems they were also protecting their guests sort of they were sort of asking some legal questions also bantering the police and all i'm not saying it's right to impede the legal process or impede the work of the police but i think every citizen has a right to stand up to the police especially if it turns out the police are doing the wrong thing i can't clearly say they were doing the wrong thing here but i sort of appreciated that these staff of that radio station and TV station were taking a stand to ask some questions. Mind you, this is Nigeria, where in recent times, people are also kidnapping people, with some of them even wearing military uniforms, posing as military officers. So it is very, very important that they also do their due diligence to confirm if these guys are really police officers. That is not to say they are not police officers, but I think that it is very important that the people the police are inviting also do their due diligence because the police may know they are authentic police officers. But as to the man you are here to arrest or invite to the police station, he has a right to authenticate who you are and he also has a right to be dealt fairly with the law. Police service or police policing is not something that is based on brutality or harassment it is a service to the society so there is a way and manner in which this conversation should go although sometimes some people become recalcitrant and a certain level of force will have to be used now in this particular instance it's actually escalated further to a point i can't show in this video but according to the director of that tv station that's the abn tv and radio station the director is called Ifeni Okali. He actually described it that the whole activity by the police is a provocation against press freedom and human rights. And if it turns out the police are wrong, then his, his, his accusation could stand. Press freedom in, in the sense that by virtue of this um, invasion of the police, it halted the program. Mind you, the program is also on youth rendezvous, trying to rally the youth to improve their lives. So if police activity is coming in to interrupt the program and it turns out it was unwarranted for the police to do that, then definitely they are impeding press freedom and by extension of that, also infringing on the human rights of all the staff of that studio and even the man they are there to arrest. That is my two cents on this as far as it's concerned. Now, the director even went on to talk about the fact that the invasion of the broadcast station by the police also led to some of the things in the studio, that's their equipments and some gadgets, also getting damaged. And he's expecting that the police would pay for that. I don't know if they are going to sue the police if they refuse. I don't know if the police commissioner or the, the, the higher echelon of the 
Nigerian police will just decide to settle the bill so it doesn't escalate any further between themselves and the, the broadcast station or whether the police will refuse and this might also become another legal battle in itself. Now, eventually, the police ended up claiming that the warrant that they were basing on, the petition that they were basing on to pick up this man from the studio was that a senior brother of this guest, that's Mr. Donald, had actually brought a petition against him over a family matter. Yeah. So, according to them, or according to this report from the, the director of the, the, the studio, they are saying that the police claimed that a senior brother of the guest, Mr. Donald, called Mr. Uche Onuka Udensi, had written a petition against him over a family matter. Now, at this point, you go on to also hear the police officer actually even attacking the radio station itself with regards to the type of content they put out and the quality they're in telling them that they are also doing the wrong thing and that even the, the, the content they put out is subpar. And I feel that it's very unprofessional. Your problem or your purpose for being there has nothing to do with the radio station. It's all about who you've been asked to come and pick up from the, the, the station. So I don't see how come it extends to the, the, the point of even attacking the station in itself. I feel that even if it turns out that this police officer had legal grounds to come in there and pick up this guy, maybe the approach that he adopted, especially when it got personal and he was actually verbally attacking the studio and threatening the guy and all, was quite unprofessional. I believe that there is a due process where if the person refuses to come calmly with the police they they should have a way of handling it such that it doesn't get out of hand but this seemed like it was getting out of hand to the point where some studio equipment were allegedly damaged as a result but then again on the flip side i think the director called someone in the police service and was also having a conversation with him but if it turns out that the gentleman in the studio that's the guest is actually supposed to go with the police as per whatever legal document they should, then the studio should also be careful they don't impede the police work and ensure that the guest leaves their studio and goes with the police because the police seem to have been after this guy for some time. He told the guy that he is hiding. He's trying to hide. And the, the, the gentleman also told him that how would he be hiding and then be sitting in a studio? So it looks like there's a whole tension in this and I'm expecting that it shouldn't be the case. Citizens should respect the police. The police should also respect the citizens and the rule of law should be above everybody and everyone operates within the rule of law. What do you think about this whole thing? Let me know. How does it work in your jurisdiction where wherever you find yourself in the world watching this? If a police officer is to come and arrest someone, how does it go? And under certain circumstances like this where the person is on maybe a live TV show, how does it go? I am thinking that if the documents that the police brought, which they are basing their arrest on, whether it's a warrant or a petition or whatever, are authenticated by the studio, they could have gone on a commercial break and dealt with this behind the scene. I don't think there was the need to have all these being captured and all unless maybe they were doing this for evidence sake because they also don't trust the police i don't know but let's have a discourse on this wherever you are let's know how your policing works in your jurisdiction but hey i think all in all it's a very unfortunate incident subscribe if you are yet to do so watch our other videos and let us have your view on what we've put there for you these are stories that have education in there, advices in there, and also could become learning curve towards even your own safety and security. And share our videos as well. It could help someone avoid certain things. And we are just 19 days into 2024. And man, the things that are coming up, I don't know. But 
it looks like 2024 came with its own level of heat and funny issues. I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe out there and keep an eye out.